what the rest is. Or what the font on that one is better. Yeah. Mm. Why? You don't associate serif fonts with design. Mm. You don't no. associate. Okay, sorry? You do in fashion. You do in fashion. Well, it, it fits yeah, better with the fact that you want to put squares there. <laughs> I don't like the italics. Okay. You don't like the italics. No. Okay. No. Why? <laughs> You can't see any different. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you go down there and look at the two from that end. Yeah, we're looking mainly at the text in the middle. Okay. So we've got uh, mainly the uh, title text here. Okay. It's, it's harder to read that place. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's crisp and clear because it's you got all the um, white space behind it. Serif font doesn't match any of the pictures. Mm. Right, sorry, mate. Okay. <laughs> Serif font doesn't match any of the pictures. Because the Serif font is more old fashioned, and all the pictures show you the technology. Mm. Okay. What about the spacing of the text down there in Serif text? Yeah, that's much better. That's I think it's, it's because of the uh, font used as well. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, because it's quite it's quite a stylized font. Okay. The G's and the Y's and are quite um. Sort of this is when it's going to turn out to be tiny. Yeah. Or it, or it could be charged and broke. Okay. Because uh, as you said, it's quite fashion based type font, quite classy. But whereas, as I said before, it's quite hard to read because it's quite squashed. Okay. <coughs> so you got issues of readability and legibility then that are coming through with the font. Okay. What I want you to do then, okay, if we sort of think of it in a university context, if you just focus on the logo for University of Wales Newport, which is down toward the baseline, can you just tell, give me some comments on the logo use, please? <coughs> yeah, yeah, aside from the pixelation, just, just talk about the font if you can. They the same on each yeah, one? Yeah, they're both exactly the same. They're okay. identical. So tell me what about what you're thinking about the uh, the logo. No, I, if you if you think in terms of um, university, right, and if you think in terms of your expectation of what a university can give you, what is the most appropriate type form that you can think of? Is it that? Is it something else? I'm trying to sort of like drill down to see exactly whether your expectation of a university education marries with the logo. Reminds me of a hospital. Pardon? Reminds me of a hospital. Reminds you of a hospital? Yeah. Right, okay. And, and why would that be? It's very strange. Okay. <laughs> so it, so it's hospital the narrow, it looks like hospital signs. There's a strong association there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But what about the, um, you've got that bold line, bold white line, and then you've got text. Don't quite get the bold white line. Mm. No? Well, it's not even the size of the text. Okay. Uh, seems I like it because it reminds me of my pace that I remember to come through, which is that one of those posts. What I suppose I'm going for. Yeah, you want to be bigger and just for you. That was a, 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 an important point. She's biased because she doesn't like Newport. University. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, why is that? Because I was really crap in my Right, okay, so it's a previous experience then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. So, so do, do you... Does the dean talk to students now? Pardon? Does the dean talk to students now? Which one? Still the <laughs> I'm not getting into this. This, <laughs> this is yeah. on video. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, when you see that bold line and University of Wales and Newport, what does it conjure up to you? What does that logo go... What does the logo conjure up? The line kind of reminds me of a door. <laughs> A door. The okay. The lines are like a door. Yeah. Uh, next to check reminds you of palm. Yeah. Okay. It's like a door. You kicked out the door. What? What about <laughs> the? I mean, some of the guys who haven't spoken. So, just go back to the typography just for a second. Um, what there was an interesting comment that was made over here about design, and the fact that the use of a serif font with design is not maybe appropriate. Okay. And I'm quite interested to know, well, why would that be? So why would a, a serif font not be appropriate for the, the word design? It's typically a very up-to-date thing. I mean, if it's like graphics design thing, 
yeah. then it will be using modern technology and it's an old fashioned farm. Okay, so so what you're saying wrong impression. So yeah. it's it's not supporting the message then? No, no. Right, okay. So if you focus on the word university, right? Think of whatever the expectation is that you have of the word university. What type, whether it be serif or sans serif, is more appropriate to that word? Depends on the type of university. Yeah. Right, okay. So well, if, if it's like a traditional university teaching like physics and maths and stuff, you mm -hmm. probably have a serif font. Right. It's more formal. But if it's more modern, then you probably wouldn't. For the same reason, you wouldn't have a serif font with a logo there. Okay. So. Like Oxford University, that gives a serif font. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. And that, that's, and you feel quite comfortable with that. So if you were to sort of see any kind of publicity from the <coughs> university that you perhaps wanted to attend, how would that affect you? How would you read it? What's the message that you would get from it? I mean, for example, um, if we look at sort of uh, Cardiff University, Cardiff University uses a uh, serif type, the logo. You might not know it. Some of you might have seen it. Cardiff University d deals with obviously with med school. So that's appropriate then, is it? Is that what you're telling me? So when would a serif be not appropriate to use? You're definitely telling me to, you know, with design, that's not appropriate, right? Well, no, it's, as I said, the main thing. Yeah, it's stuff like technology, modern right. things. You would have something like a modern farm. So it's like, say, you answer like a fashion, a fashion exhibition, or then you use a serif farm, because that's right. got that classy sort of... Um, Okay, so mm. let me put it another way then. If you um, you're all aware of um, Apple and the history of Apple, yeah, the evolution of the logo type for uh, for Apple computer. Are you aware of that? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you know that there was actually when the the company launched, it had a serif type. You're aware of that, right? But now it's what sans serif type. Yes. In fact, you don't actually often see the Apple written in type because you just use the the Apple logo, isn't it? Um, but it's interesting the fact that when Apple launched, uh, they chose to use a serif type. So it was actually calling on what you're telling me, traditional values. And I just uh, I think that's that's quite interesting. Why it should have evolved now to what you're telling me is actually something needs to be modern, which in this case you're telling me it should be a sans serif font. Yeah? yeah. Does that does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say about these? I think sans, not sans serif, with serif fonts like that, you run the risk of associating it with Times New Roman, and Times New Roman for me is always associated with basic stuff. Okay. Like computer beginning users use Times New Roman. So are you saying that if you had a serif font, but it was more designer font? Then I'd be more interested in it. You'd but be more interested in it. fly with that font on it, I just think I can't even choose a different font. Okay. Okay, that, that's that. Uh, what does everybody else think about that? I mean, that's quite a, you know, firm fixed view, isn't it? You know, I wouldn't you want to do it. Associated with it as well at the same time, because you've got with a, you know, associated with technology, then sound certain, then you need Google as well. That you know, it's, it's a clean, modern type case, and that, right. um, you know, that's why you'd associate with, like, say, like IT and yeah, computer okay. industry sort of um, firm or company, whereas mm -hmm. see, without them, it's sort of slanted towards the other side of. I'm with him actually. I'm, I'm still with him. Yes, yeah, so go on. It's slanted toward what? Well, I just said for the more, say, classier element of. Business and corporations. So okay. So because you, you probably see that kind of type type base when say like um, business advisors or something along that line. Right. Okay. If, if you look at those two posters, yeah. Would you do you know what they're advertising? Designed mm -hmm. by practice. Mm -hmm. Designed by practice. What? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So think what would you put MA and a BA? Think uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you know that this is advertising a, a master's program. Okay, master's program. You've done your degree, 
three years, you're going on to a master's program. How long for the master's? Three or four years. Three or four years, okay. You said earlier that choosing a font like this says it's a little bit more of a highbrow font, <coughs> a little bit more at market font, yeah? yeah? Market Would you choose that poster down there, or this one <coughs> here, by looking at the use of the font, now you're going to invest a lot of money on doing a master's program which kind of university would you go for? University A, University B? Mm. That one looks more pleasing to the eye. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll be more drawn to it. Okay. Would you be more drawn to it because it is easier to read? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because with that one you have to keep mm. switching between sound side and side to get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. This here would be different. Yeah. 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 So, you, 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 so it is a purely kind of uh, technical way that you're reading it in terms of spacing, in terms of tracking, leading, whatever it is. But in terms of the type, you're, you're finding it's actually distracting or just more difficult to read. Okay, so that's interesting. So in terms of appropriated choice, which is what Andrew was just saying now, um, what's more appropriate? <laughs> Andy, I call him Andrew. I call him a lot of things actually, but um, <laughs> so what is what is the I'm trying to sort of get to what is more appropriate. So you know, Andy was more um, you know sort of uh, suggesting that if it's a you know type of a higher level of learning, then perhaps there's one font that's more appropriate than another. But you're saying perhaps not. 